The annual statewide pheasant crowing count survey runs from May 1st through June 10th and is made up of 120 mile routes spread across the state. And game and fish personnel stop 10 times on each route and listen for roosters crowing. So our pheasant crowing counts, uh, it's our main index. And again, it's an index, not a total population count of breeding roosters that are, that are coming into the, to the season. Uh, and it's a good, good way to look at overwinter survival. Statewide, it was good news again. It was up 6% compared to last year. Upland game biologists break down the survey areas into four pheasant management districts in North Dakota. So the highest uh, crows per stop this year was the Southwest, you know, just over 31 crows per stop. And that's the highest that's been since 2016. The second highest count was in the Northwest district, even though it was down slightly from last year. And it was down a fraction of a percent compared to last year, which is okay because last year was, was really good. And they did have a few storms up in that northwest part of the state this year that were, you know, you're going to lose some pheasants and things like that. Um, but again, you know, they're over 21, 22 uh, crows per stop. Still really good. The third best management area during this year's crowing count was in the southeast district. Uh, was up right over 18 from 16 last year. Uh, most of that is towards the west part of that district. And the fourth pheasant crowing management district is the northeast, which isn't a primary region for pheasants. Big increase in number, but uh, it's very small crows per stop. They went from 5 to 6.5. Biologists will conduct late summer roadside brood counts for pheasants from July 20th to August 31st. The end all is check back, you know, after our late summer roadside counts, early September. Um, the results from those, that is a better forecast of what the fall is going gonna, is gonna to look like. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.